Today I'm answering the question about how to build muscle if you have chronic kidney disease. How to gain muscle if you're on a low protein diet because of kidney disease. That's what we're talking about today. If you're new, make sure to subscribe. We have hundreds of videos to help your kidney health. If I've gotten this question a few times, I definitely want to answer it today. You're going to the gym, you're working out, you're exercising, you want to build some muscle, but you know that eating extra protein isn't good for your kidneys. So the answer becomes essential amino acids or branch chain amino acids. Let's talk about amino acids for a minute. Amino acids, okay, quickly make up everything in your body, your hair, your skin, your nails, your hormones, your neurotransmitters, everything, okay, your muscles are made up from amino acids. Think of it like that. When you eat any protein, that's where you get your amino acids from. So if you eat chicken, fish, eggs, dairy, beans, soy products, lentils, you get protein from these foods. And amino acids make up protein. So your body, you eat the protein, it's digested into the individual amino acids, which then your body uses for repair, growth, and everything you need in your body. Now we have 20 essential amino acids. Nine are considered essential. That means you have to get nine from your diet in order to live properly and to get proper amounts of protein. So nine are essential. Now when you have those nine, your body can make the other 11. Okay, so that's 20 amino acids, nine essential, 11 are called non-essential. So when you're building muscle, essentially you're getting in, you wanna eat more protein because you get more amino acids, which then help build, repair the muscle so you can grow more muscle. Any disease, you don't wanna get in the protein protein because it's metabolic waste and it causes a big problem. So what you want to do instead is just use and purchase essential amino acids. Now there are um, three essential amino acids called the branch chain amino acids, which you also can purchase separately. So those are your two options. Now when you look out in the market, you're going to see essential amino acid pills, powders, supplements. You always want to look for a clean one. And when you do get essential amino acids in, you want to look to get about 3,500 milligrams, all right, at, at one sitting or at least per day, because 3,500 milligrams of essential amino acids, it's roughly about 20, 25 grams of eating protein. So you'll see a lot of powders out there already, some of them are already dosed at like 3,000, 5,000, 10,000. So you want to get at least 30. 500. That generally equals 20 to 25 grams of eating protein. Now you're going to have to look at the back label to add it up. And depending on the size of the pill, it can be like three to four pills, or it can be like six to 10, depending on the brand and what you're purchasing. So always look at the back. The tablet pills will have more essential amino acids per pill than a capsule. Powders have the most. Now essential amino acid powders don't blend as well. They're hydrophobic. So they're when they come in contact with water, they come together. So they don't blend as well. So it's good to use a blender or maybe put in a little water, drink it down. But you want to use essential amino acids, that would be your one option. 3,500 milligrams of essential amino acids once to twice per day, along with your exercise to build muscle. Now, if you don't know, it's really, really hard for the body to build clean, lean muscle without fat. So using that's going to take a little while. You can also increase the calories in your diet to help just gain weight in general. Well, you're, you'll gain some muscle, but you're also going to gain some fat. Ideally, with kidney issues, you can look to add in some whole grains, some healthier fats, okay, like olive oil, maybe small amounts of avocado, some healthier grains. But that's one way on how to go about building muscle when you have a kidney diet. Now, the second supplement is the branch chain amino acids. Now, when you take these three essential amino acids, and they call them the branch chain because of the way they're bonded, and if you take those in high doses, they also help build muscle muscle. That starts at around 5,000 to 10,000 milligrams per serving. Most powders are about 5,000. So one, two scoops, once a day. All right, usually I'll recommend essential amino acids once or twice, or you can even do like one branch chain amino acid and then one essential amino acid. And you can also buy those in pill, but again, it's a lot of pills to get to those powder doses. But the pills are an option too. Those are the two ways to build muscle, good clean muscle without eating in more protein. Okay, when you take the individual amino acids in, your body doesn't have to break down protein to create metabolic waste. So the metabolic waste is just tremendously less. So that's how you wanna do it. Hopefully that's not too confusing. Essential amino acids and branch chain amino acids are your two options to build muscle on a kidney diet without eating more protein. Thanks for watching everybody to your best kidney health.